I've been composing film scores for almost 30 years now. Back in the 60s, I worked for Lean and Hitchcock and Kubrick, you name them. They loved my music. Then, in the 70s, I don't know what it was, really. Fashions changed and nobody wanted to know. Well, it's been uphill ever since. Mr. Rogers, if you'd like to come this way, Mr. Attenborough will see you now. Pleasant journey? Uh, I worked with Dickie many years ago, so I feel quite optimistic. I may be old-fashioned, but I've always believed that nothing beats a good tune, and I know Dickie feels the same. Because we can finance the Northern American and pitch with a negative pickup. Deal. But we'll have to... Stan! Stanley Rogers, how are you, darling? Long time no see. Gentlemen, may I introduce one of the greats, Stanley Rogers. <laughs> Have you, uh, have you read the script, Stan? I have, uh, Dickie. I think it's very moving. Thank you, darling. Thank you, darling. <laughs> it's obviously, it's just, uh, rough at the moment, you know, but, um, <clears throat> but this is the, um, the main, the main thing. I was walking down the beach one fine day, feeling a little bit randy. <laughs> Coming my way if it wasn't me old mate, Gandhi, Gandhi. <laughs> If it wasn't the old mate Gandhi, I was walking down the beach on another day and my toes were getting sandy. Oh, did I see swimming in the sea? If it wasn't the old mate Gandhi, 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 if it wasn't the old mate Gandhi. <clears throat> Obviously, I'll do with the orchestral arrangement, you know, it's a sort of beef. It <laughs> yes. Dickie liked it, I think. But apparently, Bill Kingsley can't sing for Toffee, and as I've never composed anything for the sea tar, that was that, really. I've never worked with Cubby before, but Harry and I are old chums. <laughs> Jane, I want you to hold all calls. I have Mr. Stanley Rogers with me. Cubby, this is Stanley Rogers. Yeah, it's a great honor, Stanley. I hope you like it. <laughs> She looked at me across the table I said, don't be a brazen for me She said, do you know who I am? I said, yes, you're Octopussy <laughs> She said, I don't like lobster I said, don't be so funny. She said, do you know what my name is? I said, yes, it's Octopus. <laughs> uh, Jane, <clears throat> you can put all calls through. Mr. Rogers is leaving. So long, Stan. I was just a bit too modern for them, I think. They don't take risks, you see. They've worked with John Barry for too long. <laughs> Still, that's their loss. I've never met Francis Ford Coppola before, but I've heard he's a bit of a turn away. Home. You're hired. <laughs> 